Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, today I got a little project we're going to be doing. Um, a while back I made an arbor for a table saw and I'm kind of embarrassed that I still have it here in the shop, haven't been able to send this back to the customer yet. And the reason is, is that we're trying to get a nut, uh, a left hand acme nut, 5 8 uh, 12 left hand threads to go up on this thing. And uh, we thought we were going to be able to order some. We did try to order some, they didn't work out good. Um, and then I said, okay, I'm gonna find a tap for this. And I've, I've found a, a, a 5 8 11, or 5 8 12, excuse me, uh, Acme tap, left-handed threads on, on, on eBay for sale. It was a brand spanking new in the box, new old stock tap, uh, picked it up for a really good price, ordered it, talk about a fiasco. Shipper did his job, dropped it off at the post office. Uh, tracking number uh, showed that it was not dropped off at the post office. Stripper, or the seller assured me that he dropped it off and I believe him. Um, and for over two weeks, uh, no tracking number had been scanned. And finally, after two weeks, uh, it showed up in one of the sorting centers, I think in Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, they scanned it when it arrived and scanned it when it left. Said, oh great, they found it, it's on its way, finally. Uh, it's been almost three weeks now and the package still hasn't come. I have no idea what happened to the package. Uh, the post office has lost it as far as I'm concerned and kind of left me in a bind because I was counting on getting that tap to uh, cut those threads and has left my customer waiting on the post office to deliver a package to me. Extremely frustrating. So I ended up, I'm going a little bit different route. We're going to make the, the, the internal threads today, but instead I'm going to single point cut them. And uh, I was able to get a uh, cutter here. Got this from MSC. It's, a, it's an Acme 12 pitch uh, point on the end of this cutter. This is actually carbide that we can just reach up in there and do the threading with. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, long overdue, but let's get it done. So to make this uh, out of, I've got some inch and a quarter hex stock uh, that he can use to put a wrench on, pretty large diameter. Uh, I like having a bigger diameter on these bigger flanges. Uh, just, I think it just helps. So that's what we're gonna use is some nice big stock like this. And uh, we're gonna go over and lathe and I think I'll make four of them. Uh, as long as I don't break my cutter or do something stupid like that, we're gonna try to make four of them and send them to them. So let's head over to the lathe and we'll get started making some left hand Acme threaded internal threads uh, on the metal lathe. So I got my stock here in the lathe and I got stuck out. We're gonna be parting some, some uh, pieces off. I'm gonna start by just facing the front. This already looks like it's not in bad shape. But it's always good practice to do that. So, uh, touch off. All right. Next, I'm going to come in here with a center drill. And I just want to put a little spot there in the center just to help make sure we get a nice uh, center drill going through there. Up next here, I got a half inch drill and we're gonna drill about two inches deep into this piece of uh, stock. That first drill bit wasn't cutting real good, so I just swapped it out to a sharper bit. It's making a big difference. should be deep enough. Next thing I want to do is come in here and I want to, I'm just going to cut a little piece off until we get down. Basically, I'm just trying to cut those edges off. See what I'm doing there? Just creating a little shoulder there. I just want to get it down to the root diameter there. That's all I want right there. And that just gives me a nice round piece for that to go up onto without those shoulders touching.
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to set my parting tool where the back side is flush with the front. And I've got a little dial indicator here. It's a magnetic dial indicator. I'm going to stick it down here on the uh, carriage. And I can use that to measure my thickness that I'm cutting. And in this case, I want it to be 3 eighths of an inch with 375 thou. One, two, three, seventy-five, right there on the dial indicator. So that should be three eighths inches thick. And I'm going to start my parting cut. I am going to stop right there. And I'm going to change cutters for just a minute. It's just a threading tool, but I'm actually using it to, as a chamfer tool in this case. I'm just kind of chamfering those uh, edges there. I want to just get those sharp corners off. Again, kind of down to that root, just knock them off so that they're not sharp. Just a touch more right there. Now we'll come back in here with the parting tool and part this part off. There we go. Got one of my nuts done. a different threading tool this time. Number two. All right, we got our four blanks. So up next, we need to bore these holes out to the proper size before we actually thread them. I drilled them to five or half inch, 0 0.500. They need to be a little bit larger than that for that five eighths inch internal thread. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, I marked this side of my piece here and I marked one of my jaws for that same one so I can get them back in on the same jaws, uh, which should just help with any run out. It's not really gonna matter. We're gonna be boring that hole up to the right size. The other thing here is guys, is this is such a thin cross section that we're clamping on. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to get this to clamp and run true. So to kind of assist with that, I've just got a block here that's been faced off and I'm just going to kind of come in here and hold that piece up next to that to the front of my jaws and that should kind of help get it where it's more or less flat on the front and I am going to touch this face off here uh, just very lightly to true it up to make sure it's square with what I'm cutting right or with the hole that's going to the final hole going in there. So I think we are ready to do our bore. I want these holes to be 545. So um, go ahead and start cutting. All right, I think we took a little bite there and um,
got a inside bore micrometer here. And we're about 10 thousandths over. We've got about 30 more thou to come out. I need about two and a half more thou. We should be good there. Let's see where we ended up. Shooting for 545. I think the book says 541 to 548. Yeah, 545, right there, just a tad over 545. About a four tenths, it looks like. So I think we're right on the money. I've got my Acme boring bar in here now, and I have basically just gone off and just touched on the inside of that uh, bore. Now we're gonna be cutting left-hand threads, uh, which means I'm gonna be threading out away from me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here. We're gonna go inside I'm going to go back to my zero, which I've already got established over here on my lathe and uh, on a dial indicator. I'll show you that in a minute. And let's see, slow it down. Got my lathe slowed down a little bit here. I'm just going to put a little cutting oil up in there. and. What we're going to do is we're going to wait for a number to come around and we're just going to let it come out. All right, I'm going to go in, bring it back to zero, and now I'm going to bring the cutter to me a couple of thou and we'll come back out again. So I'm going to wait for a number to come around. Here we go. Rinse and repeat. I'm just going to cut a couple of thou at a time. A little bit different view here. You can kind of see what's going on. I've gone to my stop, my zero, and we're about, what, 18 thou in there. I'm gonna take a couple more thou. We're at 20 thou now deep. We'll wait for a number to come around on our threading dial. And just come right out. Go in, back to my stop. Add a couple more thou. Thread them on out this way. And that's 40 thou, or this cut will be. I didn't feel right. I'm going to wait for the next number to come around. Okay. I'm just going to take a test fit here. We are a little bit short of where we need to be according to the book, but I don't always believe the book. And it's starting. 
but we're not quite there yet, which is exactly where we should be. All right, let's uh, continue on. I'm gonna go, we'll go to that 50 thousandths number. A little more oil in there. We'll make a spring pass. And we're gonna make another test fit. Still just a little bit tight. Take another couple of thou out. I think that's it right there. Perfect. All right. One down, three more to go. I won't uh, bore you with the rest of them. Well guys, I think we are done with this project. I have finally got these nuts finished up. Uh, had to do them the hard way. Uh, thanks to the United States Postal Service. Uh, uh, we just had to do it without a tap and uh, do it on a lathe, single point thread, internal threads. No big deal, I can handle it, uh, but still a little aggravated with the delay that we had over there, but can't do nothing about it, I guess. Well, I think that's gonna be a wrap. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching making those. Uh, again, no big deal, but would have been a lot easier had we had that nice tap that, uh, can you tell I'm a little bit aggravated? Okay, I'm a little aggravated, but uh, no big deal, we got it done. And we'll get these uh, sent back up to Canada, where they came from, to go back on his general table saw. And uh, I think when I ship them, we're going to ship them UPS. How about that? There you go. Guys, that'll be a wrap. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comments are appreciated, as are those thumbs up. And we will catch you on the next video.